My name is Guy. Sunday should be warm and sunny, just a scattering of drive-bys. And I live in paradise. Ryan Reynolds breaks free of his programming as a video game non-player character in new action comedy movie, Free Guy. And I work at the bank. Reynolds' perpetually cheery NPC bank teller realises his day-to-day -day routine, which includes countless random acts of violence perpetuated by weirdly dressed total strangers and regular hold-ups at work, is in fact part of a massively multiplayer game called Free City after donning a pair of sunglasses from one of the game's real-world players. What are these, trick glasses or something? The game in the movie is fictional, but real-world inspirations are there for all to see. A non-copyright infringing coincidence, I'm sure. It's a fictional game, Free City, but what elements from video games will people recognize? I think people will recognize elements of Grand Theft Auto and Fortnite and you know a lot of a lot of games that that use formats not too dissimilar to to this. Lots of actors prepare before doing a role. Did you prepare by enmeshing yourself in video games culture? No, yes and no. I mean I, I became as familiar as I, I, I possibly could with the subject matter. I mean I you know in addition to Matt Lieberman and Zach Penn, I, I did a draft of the script as well as Sean Levy. So for the writing part, for sure, you know, you just had to be literate in, in, in the gaming world. Um, but I, I would do it enough just to, to, to get to know it, but I also recognize the kind of slippery slope because it's so much fun that you can really just, you know, I could easily see myself blowing off, walking the kids to school and, and, and jumping into some Fortnite instead. <laughs> so I had to sort of walk that, that fine line between, you know, uh, uh, research and, you know, parent and husband. Reynolds' in-game guy joins forces with Jodie Comer's levelled up real world player. I don't suppose this thing can fly. <laughs> no. Jump. Both take on the movie's big bad, Taika Waititi, a designer hoodie clad tech bro who heads up a massive games company with some very dubious business practices, which of course could never ever happen in the real world. I'm a rule breaker. I'm a rattle. Chicka -chicka. The movie's director, Sean Levy, is best known for the Night of the Museum films as well as Netflix's Stranger Things. But he's no stranger to games, having worked on and ultimately exited a movie adaptation of blockbuster PlayStation franchise, Uncharted. Now, there have been lots of adaptations of video games into movies with varying degrees of success. Does creating a fictional game world, which draws on gaming culture really heavily, help you avoid some of the pitfalls that those kind of movies have made? Yeah, you, you hit the nail on the head. I spent a year working on Uncharted, and so I speak firsthand when I say, it, it's possible to be very creative when you're doing a video game adaptation, but you're never completely unshackled. You are always beholden to the lore and expectations of the game. So with Free Guy, I got to create an original film and I got to create the rules of the game within the film. So that gave me maximum freedom, which I have to say was liberating and something I wouldn't have had if I were making a more literal adaptation of a video game. Audiences will be able to determine for themselves if Free Guy takes movie and video games mashups to the next level when the film hits cinemas 